Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to part two of the episode. I know you enjoyed the first part, but I know you're going to definitely going to enjoy the second part. Enjoy yourself and enjoy the episode. Until then, peace. This is what we need right here. We need that brotherhood. We need other men to look out for each other, man, because our mental health, our mental health as men is fucking jacked up. Oh, it is. It is fucking jacked up. Especially... You know, just it's a lot of dysfunction, you know, especially in the world today. You yeah. know, a lot of dysfunction, and and men have to realize it's okay to listen to tears out. You know, it's okay to talk to your fellow man about what you're going through. It's okay, yeah. let it out. Yeah, let it out. Mm-hmm. Let it out before five seconds gets you twenty five out of life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right, man. Yeah, yeah. five seconds. We'll get you 25 to life plus mm-hmm. five seconds. All because you, you didn't control your emotions. Right. You know what? You're right. But let me say something else about this. Look, at the same time, it's it's a blessing that we go through hardship as men. Right? Mm-hmm. Because we're men. We're warriors. Mm, right. We've always done it. We've always, no one can replace us. Right. You know, if if Tony were to come and tell me, all firemen are going to be replaced by by uh, the opposite sex, I promise you, all the buildings would be burning. You know, it's not about <laughs> sexism; it's about having logical facts for certain things. Yeah, as men, we have strength, right? We have testosterone. We're willing to put ourselves on the line, right? Yeah. Um, just like everything. Um, if you think about it, if, if your son was in in the line of fire, right, you'd take a bullet, right? You'd kill for your son, right? Right. But see, you as a man, you don't have to think about it. Certain women will have to think about it. Right. And that's what I'm saying. It's a blessing to, to go through hardship because it makes us stronger. You know, survivor of the fittest. We have to go through hardship in order to have that blade, right? Have that fire. And, and, uh, have, and have that growth. Yeah. And without that, how are we going to teach the next generation how to how to keep going forward? You know, and like now nowadays, don't get me wrong. Believe in what you want to believe. You know, do what you want to do. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with that. But biology is biology. You can't change that. You can't tell me that red is called blue now because you say it's called blue. It's your opinion, and I'll respect it. Right. But with facts, it's not. You know. Yeah. So, so to to you know add to Tony's um, commentary, I feel like yeah, it is a blessing to go through hardship because without that, man, I don't think I would be the person I am today. Right. You know, like I, I could sell a book right now and and somebody would buy it. Yeah. Because I had to go through hardship. I had to go through negativity. I had to go through all this. You know. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? There's, there's yeah. why we have sayings for things, right? Right. But think about it. You went through something so traumatic, so horrible, and you're right as men, you black out. I've, I've been in that situation, not proud of it. Yeah. But, you know, when you come to your senses, sometimes it's a little too late or, or sometimes you're at time. It's a little too early where no, no harm happened to that extent, right? You have time to get out. Time to get out. And for you, my friend, you have time to get out, mm. Right. And not everybody's so lucky, and that's why this podcast is created to talk about those things, right? So that somebody can reflect and think about it. But, yeah, man, it's a blessing to go through all this, man. Without this, I I don't think you'd be the strong man you are today, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate appreciate it for the love, man. Yeah, if it wasn't for this brotherhood, if it wasn't for Leon, I don't think I would be into weightlifting. Damn. Right? Yeah. I I was, he, he found me in a dark place, in a dark spot, and I was lost. And now that I think about it, you know, life... It's going to have his hardships, right? Yeah. But when I, when I reflect, when I have my, my down days, yeah. and I realize where I was stuck, I motivate myself because I never want to go back there. Shh. It could be bad, but it, it's not as bad as it was yeah. a year ago, right? Damn. Shout out, man. Shout out to my boy, Leon Hall yeah. Fury, man. Yeah. Shout, shout out, out to me. my boy. Yeah. Shout King. out to T. Shout out to T, man. Y'all, them boys, man. Y'all changing the world, man. Y'all yeah. making an impact, you yeah. know? And I'm glad you met Leon during your dark times, and he yeah. got you out of that dark and put you back into the light. Well, well not just him, T2, the real T'Challa right here, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's always motivating. You know, he says, we're, we're wealth, right? We, we're, we're, we're positive things, right? Right. And and that also makes an impact on you. Sometimes I'm like, man, that boy's silly for talking that way, right? But, <laughs> but sometimes I think about it and I'm like, okay, like, you're right. At some point you have to have that optimism, that positivity. Mm-hmm. No one's going to give it to you. No. They nah. can only tell you about it, right? Yeah, you're not born with it. Yeah, and not, not just that, Herc, you as well. Like, seeing you compete motivates me because 
I'm not there yet, but it doesn't mean I, I cannot, you know, that I'm never going to get there. Right. Right. But it's a lot because I know it takes a toll on you and your mental st- uh, stress and your body and everything. Right. The things that Leon goes through, everybody goes through, but it motivates me because if you could do it, what stops me from wanting to do it too? Hey, right? and, and, the, and yeah, man, that that's true. And then that you know, and there's another thing about the the powerlifting. When you go under that bar, yeah, you, the old version go. The old version, mm-hmm. I, I fucked up, I fucked up to say. Yeah. Basically, when you go underneath that bar, mm-hmm. the the old version. Well, basically, you go, you squat, you come up. Like basically, when you go down, uh-huh. you your old you your old version of your own self. Yeah, and when you come up, you come back up. After you squat or bent or whatever, yeah. you you're like a whole new person. Oh, so so uh, it, it, it's it. I, I'm I, don't, I know that's the saying I'm trying yeah, to come shit, with. Shit, it, not, not not just that. I like what you put. Uh, think of it like a baptism. Yeah, you know, you, the the old you is uh, underwater, and when you come up, it's the new. Yeah, that basically. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. the you know, basically the the bar, the 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 powerlifting bar mm-hmm. is the baptism. Okay, you you you. In, in, yeah, out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, old right. sins die, new you. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. it, man. So okay. yeah. never thought about it that, but I actually like that point of view. Yeah, man, because you you always you always changing. Every time you go underneath that bar, you always becoming a different person, mm-hmm. and that's how I look at powerlifting. You know, you know, I'll be like, "Fuck, man, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about that." And then Lee come out of nowhere, "Hey, man, stop thinking about that bullshit, man, and get this shit, man. Mm-hmm. Confidence, confidence." He always tell me that. He said, "Confidence, confidence, man." Don't, don't don't worry about that bullshit. Worry about right now. Yeah. Worry about this this six hundred seven hundred kilo <laughs> squat, man. And not, not, that's some that's some serious shit. Like no no no, you're you're right. Not to cut you off, but no, yeah no, but because because <laughs> I, I sometimes we go off that road, right? Man, and he right. he bring me back like, hey man, you, you gotta you gotta you have a challenge that's in front of you. You have to face. Right. You can't run away from this. No no, you can't. You and can't. then he'd be like, confidence, man, confidence. Everything you do at the gym, do. The same thing at the at the powerlifting. Shout shout out to Lee. Uh, you know he's never motivated me like that. But I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you he hasn't motivated me. But I always think about this and I laugh my ass off. But but it's what keeps me going. Uh, <laughs> I know you remember, but um, when I started, I uh, you know ended up going to to a more private, you know, more professional gym, mm-hmm. and I was so used to the Smith machines and all that, right? But one time he he just he was just so fed up, but it, it, it's fire, you know. Yeah, uh, he was like, "Man, if you can't do it here, revoke your membership." <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and that's I think true. about it, you know. But yeah. it's funny, but but I think about it. But every time that you know, I I, I you know uh, have my disagreements with him, I think about it. It's like, man, at some point I kind of surrendered because I'm like, he's trying to help me. Mm-hmm. Why am I getting so defensive, right? Because mm. again, you're learning about yourself. And I'm like, why am I trying to fight against, you know, somebody who's trying to teach me something new? Right. And I guess because it was just afraid. It was a trauma response, right? Mm-hmm. But I always think about that. And not, now that he's not, you know, um, here, you know, he's, he's in a different uh, city. I think about that all the time. Whenever I can't do something or I feel like I can't complete it, I think about that. It's like, man, just revoke your membership because it's a privilege. Yeah. It is. To do what, 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 you know, what we're doing, it's, it's a privilege. Yeah. Not everybody gets to do it. And not everybody chooses to... Be in there, I guess, mental right state of mind and yeah, say, I'm going to pay a membership to lift heavy objects, right? Yeah, day in day in, and day out, <laughs> day man. Out, that, it's a grind. It, 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 it's a grind, yeah, and it yeah. takes a toll, man. But no. like like Leon said and Wolfman said at the last episode, it's that passion you have, yeah. man. Yeah. You you have to have that passion. You got to have that love, and you got to have that fight. Right. If you don't have that, you won't be able to do you know, you won't you won't be able to do regular workouts or powerlifting or right. CrossFit right. or just whatever or strongman and shit like right. that. You gotta have some type of some type of crazy, but you gotta have that. You got that passion. Got to be. You gotta have a purpose of right. why you doing what you do. Right. You know, you just can't go in there all my lift seven hundred or shit like that. You no, nah. you, just, you can't do that. Yeah, you have to correct. prep. You have to prep your body to get to to withstand that, that weight and actually lift that weight. Right. You just can't go willy nilly first day. Cause you're going to pull something or you're going to shit out of hernia and you're going to have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We, we know a couple of people over there, but <laughs> gonna, we're not going to mention any but, names. <laughs> no, no, but man, that's, that's some, this is some good stuff, man. We, we having a badass conversation, man. Uh, this is some good shit. Yeah. And, um, man, let's go on there, man. Let's move. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep All it rolling. Right. Um, the next thing is money, money, money. Oh. Money, money, money. That's man. that's everybody's favorite. Money. 
That's everybody's favorite. Everybody yeah. love money. You love money. We love money. Yeah, yeah everybody love money. Yeah. Even though we pay bills and we look broke, but we still we, we still got a job and we make money. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't making six figures, but we, we have a, a sustainable life. Um, I, I had a quote over here or a saying or a question. Uh, it say, "Why is it okay for women to to date a man only for his money, but man can't date women?" Oh, uh, well, man can't date only. Uh, man can't date women only for their looks. Okay, so you saying women are allowed to date men for money, but the man is not allowed to date the woman for their looks, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, man. Okay. Damn. Uh, that's that's pretty heavy, man. So let's take this out the oven one by one, and I'm trying to be efficient with it. Oh, uh, you know. No, you're good. Good. Oh either. no. Oh, uh, so basically. It's the the thing where women will say, this is a good guy, but he don't have enough money. Mm. But they have been allowed to be brainwashed by this society that's telling you money is everything. Because they have no other things that's more like a leadership thing to... Well, let's say they're not in tune with themselves to realize that it's other things out here in this world that's more valuable than money. Like time, nature, relationships, you know, just just life skills. True. You know what I'm saying? And everything that I just noticed, last listed, money cannot really buy. You know what I'm saying? It can help you, like, get a connection based towards it, but to really learn things in this world, it's going to do things that money can't do. So, so you, do you? Uh, there's another one. Can money buy happiness? Money cannot buy happiness no. simply for the fact of that when money deteriorates, what are you there to do? Because happiness never deteriorates. No. If you genuinely happy in this world, no one can take your happiness from you. Mm. But if you have to buy happiness, then <laughs> it's going to be taken <laughs> from you. True. <coughs> so look. Think about money, right? The situation of money. I mean, don't get me wrong. We Money helps with bills. We all know that. Yeah. It helps with bills. But, see, the concept of having money, it sounds good in our mind, right? If you think about If I say money, you know, money, it mm. sounds good in your mind. Right. But think about this. The more money, the more problems. But, see, a lot of people don't think about that because the more money you have, okay, so that's more prostitutes, more hookers, mm. more alcohol, mm-hmm. more drugs, more, no. st- more stu- stupidity. More doing stupid right. things, right? So yep. what what what's what good is it gonna do if I'm a millionaire? Then I end up in jail or dead. I can't spend it. Right. You know? What right. if I what if I'm a millionaire and I go to the doctor mm-hmm. and he tell and I say, Doctor, I'm, I put a million on the table right here in front of you, doctor. I need help. Save me. Yeah. <laughs> Save me, please. <laughs> he and he say he looked at me and say, <coughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I can't save you. I can't help you. So my money can't even save me. Damn. And and I wanna and I wanna answer that second question that you asked real quick. Go ahead. Now you say a man is not allowed to date a woman for her looks, right? Right. But a man but a woman can. a woman's right. So you gotta understand that today's society it has been shifted well. The dominance of male say so has been revoked from us and given to letter groups and you know the the female the the more feminine mm-hmm. uh, forefront. Yeah. So it's like this: you say that she got a good personality, but she ugly. What's the first thing they gonna say? Well, it's not about the outside. You gotta look within. Yeah. 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 It's always it's always a counteract. Right. But if you tell a nigga he broke. But then they can say, okay, I may be broke, but my bills paid. I'm a good dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm a good dude. My bills paid. My house, you know, my mortgage is paid. I got an icebox full of food, so my money is going to write things that's helping me good. Right. Like, I may have $100 to last me to the next check, but everything is good. So how? why is my money an issue? If you come along, the icebox still going to be full. Yeah. Gas still going to be in the car. Yeah. The bill still going to be paid. Right. So if you going to make an excuse about looking within of you, then you got to look within and why is my money going to the places? But I'm still dressed nice when you meet me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I had an example. My wife gave me an example that she had like a, a 
of when a, a home girl, such and such, we'll just keep it like that. And she was saying that uh, that home girl, she she went on this date and found this this dude was you know successful and everything was good, bills are good, money's good, and like good job, good thing, good everything. Like this this is like a legit dude, like good dude. But she says she won't go on another date with him because he's short. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it, like and she said, like uh, my my wife asked, like, why you know this dude's legit? He's a good dude. He has a good career. He he has all his shit. He has all his ducks in a row. It, but she said that doesn't matter because he's short. And she like she wants a tall dude. But if, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Lee. No. <laughs> because they told you that it's always something better on the other side. Facts. Yeah. But like I said in the beginning, social media played the influence on that. And you can't tell me that. You know what I'm saying? Women conversate just like men conversate. Just like we having this podcast, women are having their own podcast on the cell phone every night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They no, they no, they give a, they give a recap about the dates they went on, the dudes they met through the week, how they met the dude, and the things that you say. Okay, well, if he passed the first qualifications, like we always say, T, how's the height qualification? Then it's the sex qualification. Then it's what car do he drive qualification? Where do he live qualification? So it's always a tier that you have to break through as a man. Mm. You're constantly breaking down tiers that women put up on you. Mm. But as a man, you can say, okay, the bitch work at KLC right beside me, but she on the register. <laughs> and I'm going to take her as is. <laughs> For real. Right, get some discounts. For real. Yeah. Niggas buying cars as is with no warranty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But they going to put the love and effort into that car to make it a mil- make that effort on that car grow. True. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to get too far off the top, but when men invest in women, they make their effort and they worth double. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. So women always have this qualification, but guess what? <laughs> You just fucked yourself out of somebody that's going to be stable and have your life perfect. Your kids ain't going to have to worry about shit. Your family ain't going to have to worry about shit. You ain't going to have to worry about shit. He ain't going to be worrying about shit. Right. But to that dude that got rejected, keep your head high. Just know that the most high has something out there for you. Believe in yourself. You may not control your height, but you can control your destiny moving forward. Ooh. Good shout out, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out. That's, yeah. that's the dagger. What, my boy, Ivan, man. What's up? What, what we got, man? What we got, man? Uh, that's a tough one because they have some good points, but I will say this, uh, it is a double standard, right? And that, that word keeps on coming up. Double it, standard. It, it, it is because it, it's a biased thing, right? It Cause, is. Cause I'm not going to he- be here and pretend that men don't to a certain extent, they don't care about looks, right? They do. Yeah. And, and, you know, like you put it, um, why can women, you know, like a man that has a certain lifestyle, but uh, you want me to read it back? Yes. Okay. Why is it okay for women to date a man only for his money, but men can't date women only for their looks? Right. And so uh, I feel like, you know, there's some, a lot of standards, like Leon said, with social media. You know, the social media tells women that they need a guy that's six foot, six figures, must have uh, certain features, must have a certain hair, a certain lifestyle, right? Must be a, a certain uh, ethnicity, color, whatever you want to call it, but that social media tells them that, right? Yeah, that that's that's a motherfucking creative player on on two K. Yep. You know? <laughs> yeah. that, that motherfucker, that motherfucker does not exist. No, no. I'm gonna let y'all know that he, he does not no. exist. That's a fantasy no. nigga. No, for real. <laughs> He's part that's of a, that's a fantasy super basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a super nigga. Yeah. Yeah, he wow. he does he does not exist. But women think. But women in but women in their mind think they exist, and that. No, they got regular. They we regular dudes, man. Who yeah. work regular jobs, make regular money, and have good sustainable lives. And we're making a, a good a good life for ourselves. But but women don't see it like that. No. They just see it like how's your money is. Oh, I mean, I make like eighty six thousand a year. Yeah. Oh, nigga, you broke. I'm like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Bitch, I work at the plant. What are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah, that's good <laughs> yeah. money. But remember what I told you: women love conditionally. Yeah. What's the condition? Money. You, you, money, right? You must be a certain way. Yeah. 
men love unconditionally. Yeah, we we have our perks, right? Like, for example, I have a list of 10 things, right? No, yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to mention the 10 things, but I can tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> out of those 10 things, realistically, I'm willing to give up three to four out of those things, right? Because mm-hmm. realistically, I'm not delusional, right? Or, or how people say delulu, right? Yeah. I'm not delusional because I know that that perfect woman is not out there, right? But when you're with somebody, you grow, you, you become that person, or for that significant other, and vice versa, right? Right. And a lot of people don't understand that. You know, so when you get with somebody, you have to understand that all those things are not going to meet the checklist. The The perfection is in the imperfection, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But women think backwards. Mm-hmm. Not most of them, but some of them, right? Some, yeah, yeah, some of them. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a biased thing. It's a double standard because we, we, as men, you know, we, we, uh, we're we lookers, right? Yeah, and yeah. and we, we look for certain things, but... <laughs> That's the, just, but the, the the crazy thing that like the the actual good women that's mm-hmm. out there, like my wife or the, like uh, women in general, that's yeah. that don't care about that stuff. They don't right. care about how much you make or what you do. They looking at the personal side, like how are you as a person? Right? Do you can you take care of me? Can you physically, mentally, can you protect me? Shit like yeah. that. I don't care if you work at if you work at KFC. Yeah. You the lead cook. Yeah. Hey, I know you have a job. Yep. And shit like that. Not, but can you be here for me when you know I'm, yeah. I'm down and out? Yeah. And and can I do the same for you? Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah. That, that's that's kind of what my wife does. But right. those good women, they get criticized by other women. Talk about like, oh, mm-hmm. you, you this, you that, you fake, whatever. To other women, like other, you think we were, you think we're bad as men? Yeah. Women against other women, they're fucking horrible. Oh, I've seen oh, it. Yeah. I've seen <laughs> it. You know, you know how boys are always talking shit, but they're boys. You yeah, know? and we don't mean it. Women, when they're nice, ooh, it's the opposite, man. Nah, so, man, they, 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 man, they cut throat, bro. Like, yep. like the good women are getting bashed by the other women. Like, oh, why are you being like that? Why are you cooking for him? Why are you doing that? Why are you taking care of him? You should be taking this money and shit. Right. And yeah. it's like, no, man, that that's what she's supposed to because she learned that from her from her parents. She learned that from her grandparents. Yeah, and shit like that. And, oh, go ahead. No, no, <laughs> no. I heard we're trying to finish it. Up. Oh, go ahead, bro. Finish no, it finish. just, it just, it just, and and those women, those good women, are not getting the 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 I don't proper know, recognition. Proper recognition. Yeah. And, and those good women, when you find that good woman, you better keep that good woman. Like I, I, I thank God I found my wife, and I'm not stressed. I'm not fucking going through hell and shit like that. We have our fights. That's that's marriage. That's okay. daily. That's daily relationships or marriage. Right. Marriage problems and stuff like that. But like when I say she helps me, she helps me. Like she 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 looks out. Like yeah. like she supports me on this podcast stuff or whatever I got going on. She supports me in my powerlifting or whatever. But she's when she says she stays, she's got my back, she got my back. And I'm like at first I didn't believe that when we first when we first started talking, but now that we're in a marriage, I'm like, yes, she really got my back, and I appreciate that, and I and I love her for that, and that that's, and she, since she got my back, I got her back. That's real, no yeah. matter what. That's real, and and I and just to add to that right quick, um, you know when you you have to, fellas, you have to find a woman that's supportive, of you, supportive, and when I say supportive, let's say for example, it could be three in the morning, mm-hmm. right? You could be sleep. <laughs> You wake up, You, I got a business plan. You tell your woman, I got a business plan at 3 in the morning, right? She might cuss you out, but that's all good. She might cuss <laughs> you out. But say I got a business plan. If she doesn't jump up and say, okay, what's the, what is it? Let's do it. Mm. She's not the one for you. Because a, a real woman is going to tell you, baby, get up right now and tell me the plan. What, what what's, what's this plan you got? At right. 3 in the morning. Right. At 3 in the morning. You wake a woman at three in the morning, she turn back over. Oh, you might as well forget it, bro. You might as well pack it up. Well, that's a lot going on at three in the morning. You tired as shit. I'd be, man, I'd, I'd be tired as shit. I'd be like, oh, we'll talk about it like when yeah, I'm but, but hey, but but that business plan ain't tired because it's going to make you some money. Man, that's, that's why you got that journal. You write it down, and then you wake up when you're fully. But, but see, you might be discombobulated when you wake up. You, <laughs> you discombobulated at three in the morning. You... Oh, it depends, bro. I, I got you. I got you. I said, no. But, hey, I see. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just, I'm just no, I see what using you're saying. that as an example. Uh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't trying to shoot it down or nothing. Yeah, nah, saying. you trying to shoot down, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there, there, there is a lot. It, yeah, that, that's a good. That's a good reference and stuff. Like, cause yeah, you you get we always get ideas like at random times. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. 
But yeah. it's, it's but just just. just just the, just the supportive part, bro. Just the being supportive and being a teammate. That's what I was talking about earlier. Being a teammate. You want a woman that's going to be a teammate. You don't want a woman that's being your opponent in competition with you. Or you, now nah, I make this much. Now you got to make that much. Mm. Well, well, I drive this car. Now you you got to have a better car than me. Right. That's, that's it's competition, bro. No. I'm looking for a teammate. Right. I'm not looking to go to the finals with you. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, right. Good, good, good right. Yeah. What you got? Right. What you got, Lila? No, I'm just agreeing because hey, <laughs> it, it should be teamwork, and you know, society pushes away from the fifty-fifty. You know what I'm saying? I see nothing wrong with fifty-fifty, no. and I see nothing wrong with having a woman back and a woman having your back. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, when your when your wife told you when we was in Rockport, no matter what her do, I support him. Yeah. So if you said you went to work at the plant, they say, nigga, you going to KFC, your ass frying chicken. <laughs> your wife got your back frying chicken. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's true. Most people, baby, I got demoted to a cook from slanking, you know, cases off the back of the truck. Now I'm slanging chicken. <laughs> and they out the same night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay don't. out the same day, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? They out the same night. Oh man, I love this. Go ahead, go ahead. I love but this. meanwhile, if the woman come home, baby, I just lost my job. I guess I gotta work part time. Yeah. No door greet at Walmart. You gonna say it's okay, baby? Uh, I got you. Whatever I have, you know, we are gonna put these dividends together. We are gonna come up with a plan. Yeah, we are gonna come up with a game plan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's but they not like that. Hell no. As soon as they see panic from the so-called provider, it, it's escape. Hey, hey, you better read the damn exit plan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I noticed? You know what I noticed? Oh, and I always say, I don't say all. Oh, I say majority, right? Right. See, majority. Women Hold on, team. Until proven otherwise, this is a whole all consensus. Okay. All <laughs> until proven otherwise, okay. this is a all consensus. Okay. All right. We right. shooting it straight. Right, Shooting it so, straight, baby. So, Come on. So don't all, hold back. All women. <laughs> all. <laughs> yeah. So um. <laughs> we're okay, just playing, right, man. Right, it's, right. it's good with it's, that. Nah, it's majority. It's majority, bro. You about mess me up. We just no, nah, you good. You good. Hey. Nah, bro. I got it. Huh? Good. Go ahead. Do your thing. Ladies, majority. <laughs> For him, all. Hey. So um, and like I said, look, I I talked to plenty of women. I don't. I don't have no problem getting women. I've talked to plenty of women on plenty of dates. I have women who want to talk to me here and there, constantly everywhere I go. Right, right, of course. And I've and I've talked to different women. You know, I've talked to different women. Say, well, I met this guy and this, and he was he had everything, but he was just short, or he didn't have this, didn't didn't, didn't have that. Right, but but also a lot of women are plan themselves out of good, healthy relationships with all this strong, independent. I don't need that, and this and that. You, they're playing themselves. Yeah. A lot a lot of women playing themselves, you know, out of that. But um to basically uh, you know, say that, you know, majority of women they want they want a certain lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's they want a certain lifestyle. That's true. And that and when they figure, well, you can't provide this lifestyle for me, I'm out. Right. I'm out. If my last dude was pulling up in, in lamb trucks, you know, right, having penthouses, right, all that taking trips. <laughs> And then I meet you, and you you can't do the same for me. I'm out. I'm out. Right. But see, a lot of lot of women have that issues. Yeah. You know, a lot of women have long lost that issues and traumas and stuff that they don't want to go get resolved. Right. Well, my daddy didn't pick me up this way, or my daddy didn't shower me <laughs> with gifts this way. Mm-hmm. So you know what? I expect the next man and the man after that to do what my daddy didn't do. Baby, I'm not your daddy. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a man, right? I'm a man, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm a man. I'm not your daddy. So whatever your daddy didn't do, you need to take it up with your daddy. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Seriously, yeah. you need to, all this unresolved stuff. Just like people, for example, right quick. I'm gonna end this topic. Uh, like, just for example, people always say, "Oh well, I mean, it's nothing wrong going to therapy. That's cool." But people should be their own therapist. A lot of people don't want to listen to themselves. They don't want to take advice from themselves. Right. They don't. They want to go to somebody and sit there and 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 let's and let somebody else tell them keep them deranged in the loop. You know why they keeping you deranged in the loop? Because you paying for their mortgage. 
<laughs> oh, you paying for that Range Rover outside, man? I, I, yeah, that's true, man. I had, a, I mean, I heard, I heard another thing on uh, IG. I was watching this video of this girl. She was explaining like she was, she was broke and barely making it, and then she found this good dude who had a good job, making, uh, making good money, taking care of her, brung up, brung, brung her up from the slums, and something happened where he lost his job and shit like that. And she was like, you know what I did? I I, I broke up with him. Because she said, I'm not taking care of no grown-ass man. I hear that a lot. I said, what? I said, this man took care of you. He brought, he brought you out of the slums and took care of you, make sure you had money in your, in your in your account or whatever, and took care of you, the man, the, what he's supposed to do as a man. And the minute he, all all his like resources is gone, you you leave. You you say all right, I'm out. Fuck that. I'm breaking up with you because you can't provide for me no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I said, hey, damn. You know what? That's the thing, and that's the thing too. I think. Look, <laughs> check this out. As a man, see, a lot of men, you know, a lot of women, like I said about the stability and everything and all that, mm-hmm. earlier, right? So it's like this. You gotta, as a man, can you still lead and provide without your money? Damn, that's deep. No. Yeah. Imagine so that. if so basically if a man like so if a man's money got stripped away from yeah. if like if our money and our income got stripped away yeah. from us today, who are we exactly. without money? Can you can you still lead protect whatever without the money? That's a, that's a tough ass question. Yeah, that's tough. That's yeah. that. That's that's, well, here's the answer to that question. Go ahead. When you're on the front lines of that army in the battlefield, you listening to your general. He ain't got a damn dollar in his pocket. He got a pocket full of ammunition. Yeah. Right. Fact. But one thing that General does has is rank and power. True. And that's what Wolfman said. And shout out to Wolfman. Shout out to Wolfman. People shout respect out. power. Mm-hmm. So the name man, we are men. Mm-hmm. We need to hold the certain power of a rank of a general. You know what I'm saying? Right. Society has tried to diminish that name man with all sorts of you know pleasantries added to that right but when you are a man money doesn't define you your physical assets doesn't define you Mm -hmm. you have a certain aura that people can feel rather than next to you Mm. Ten states away. When a nigga, when a nigga recognize a real man, you would just look at him. You ain't even gotta say shit. It's just like telepathy. You like, it's something about this dude that's larger than life. But I feel something. And it makes me want to gravitate towards him. Right. That's true. Yeah. That en- that's that energy, man. Energy. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's yeah. that. That's that positive vibration. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Being a real man is energy based. You at the highest peak that there can be, and people feel energy. They be like, "Man, what? If, what like, would you, you, when a man has that type of power, and you walk in the room, they the people feel that shit. They be like, damn, who the fuck is this dude? Yeah, right. Like, he, damn, his energy is wild. I, now I gotta, now I gotta see who he, who he is, and what he's about. And then, and once they get into your energy, they be like, damn, I love this energy. This is some positive shit. I want to stay here now. I want, like, I want to get to know this man. I want to grow with him." Mm-hmm. If you know if the person has the right mindset or some shit, because the Most High created us in His image, <laughs> true, and He has the power where He's at there. So if we fit in His image, our power will align with the same frequency as the Most High. Ooh. So that's what it's mm-hmm. called being a man. When you align your frequency with the highest form that is, mm-hmm. and people can undisputedly say, "Damn." That's why shit happened. That's why you put your hands on that bitch. Mm-hmm. That's why these days ain't going right. That's why you want to kill yourself because people want to deter your energy mm. Mm. from yeah. that male dominance. Yeah, damn, that's that's real. That's yeah, facts. yeah, damn. Now man. that's 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 facts. And and like I say, when 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 people see a a real real man. They don't. They don't. They don't like to take orders. People don't like to take orders when the real man speak. When the real man speak, it's powerful. That is true. It's real powerful. All right. Uh, let me put you on some game. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tony. No, Tony said. Uh, 
And Leon said, <laughs> you know what they said, but it's true. But here's the thing. Confidence. Confidence is key. Yeah. You cannot have jack shit, but I promise you, if you're confident, you can have it all again. Yeah. That's why men rebuild, right? Right. Second thing, like you said, energies, law of attraction. That's a real thing. Yeah. What you manifest into life is what you're going to get. If you're positive, and shoot, you can meet John Doe, he's a millionaire, and you're positive, and, and everybody turns you down in your vision of your dream. But this guy says, man, I like your energy. You, you're selling the good. He doesn't know what you're going through. That person can come to you and say, I want to back you up a business proposition. Damn. Damn. Because that's the law of attraction. You attract what you are. If you're negative, you're going to attract a negativity. Yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. If you're positive, you're going to attract positivity. Now, another thing to, to uh, mention is you were talking about how uh, some women bash on good women, right? Right. Now, everybody talks about the male toxicity, right? Mm-hmm. But nobody talks about the dark side of feminism, mm. right? Oh. Now, now, now that's a key point. I don't you know? think they're ready for that one. I don't think they're ready for no, that one, no, but, no. but here's the thing. They're not. They're not. Um, I feel like some women don't understand what feminism is because mm. it's equality yeah. within men and women, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So if you're not equal with us, right, that's one thing. Okay, that's fine. But here's another thing. Where are you going to go against your, your own, you know, gender? Mm-hmm. If anything, we're supposed to rebuild, not uh, make more toxicity, right? Right. Those are the things that people don't talk about. You're right. There, There is. Uh, that's why I, s- I usually say uh, in certain things, some women, not all women, because there's some good ones out there. Yeah. Unfortunately, some of them are, you know, stuck in bad situations or with people they're not supposed to be with or true. et cetera, right? True, true, true. But, true. you know, it, it's, it's those situations that teach you about life. Mm. Uh, how it's not uh, fair, right? Right. How things happen for a reason. But at the same time, it teaches you a lesson, like T was saying, it can be your prison, it can be your teacher. Mm. It teaches you not to give up. It teaches you that if you're worth something, Mm -hmm. go out and get your worth. Don't just sit around and expect it to come to you. God is not a genie. No, he's not. We're not special. In certain aspects, but we're special in individuality. Because right? God, he still wants you to put in that work. Yeah. Uh, he he's yeah, going to yeah. do his part, but he still wants you to put yeah. your work in. Yeah. We, we still have to do our part. We yeah. still have to put in that work. Of course. And if, once he sees that we're putting in that work, he yeah. says, okay, now nah, I can bless you. And, and that's the, the, the law and order of things. Like you said, 50-50. It mm. should be 50-50. If God is saying, I'm putting 50, right? Yeah. And it's, it's uh, uh, you know, it's God and man. Right. What what is it with uh, women, right? With with men and women, fifty fifty. Right, right, right. Like you said, women are looking for protectors. It's always been like that. True. You have to be the protector for your woman, and she has to be your peace. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 say, say that again for say, the people. Say, that, say that's that one more time, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, man yeah. is supposed to be the protector, and the woman's supposed to be the peace. Listeners, I hope y'all listening because this is a good conversation. This is juice for your ass, man. God <laughs> damn, it, it, it's true. Because look, 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 her. You can be like Leon said. You can be the fry cook at KFC, right? <laughs> but here's the thing: if your woman sticks to you and believes in you, right? Mm. Behind every successful man is a woman, right? Right. If she believes in you and she pushes you and she makes you grind and she does all this for you, right? Right. What makes you think that later on you're not going to be the owner of a chain? Damn. Mm. Here's the thing. It's, it's you limit yourself with who you are, who you associate yourself with, mm-hmm. and where you want to go. Right? Yeah. Because cause it's true. You, you could be you could be the, uh, you know, the, the lowest of the lowest in careers, but that doesn't mean that that's what you're meant to be. Damn. Yeah. It's only if you want to be there. Circle of people is important. That's why. That's why networking is a thing, right? We yeah. sell ourselves. This is this is a a, a business deal in a, in a way, right? You're selling yourself. You're selling something, and what we're selling today is a message for men, right? Right. But you're networking as you go, right? Yeah. And so those are the most important things from that topic we were talking about, mm-hmm. and it, and it's true. And I'll say it one more time. Men are supposed to be protectors. Women right. are supposed to be the peace. If you can't have that, you don't have a relationship. Move on to the next thing. 
God damn. Yeah, that's, that's facts. Boy, y'all, y'all killing, y'all killing this, this topic, boy. That money topic. God yeah. damn, boy. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to Ken Tony, Leon Hall Fury, and fucking Ivan, man. <laughs> man, God damn. Do you have a nickname? Do you, do you have like a superhero name? Or? Ivan the Great. What, 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 what do you say that? <laughs> Gummy Smut. Ah. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, man. man, let's. God damn. AKA Mr. I'm Tall. No. <laughs> I, I don't know about those. They're not facts. He said he don't get tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Okay. So. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Happy Christmas. We know we know yeah. 2023 is about to be at the end, mm-hmm. and we're about to go into 2024. What are the expectations into going into uh, 2024? Do you want to go first? I've been going first. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro, <laughs> you, why not? You're just a bad time. Bro. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Catch your breath. <laughs> but, um, um, so expectations. Let me say this. I don't really too much. I'm not gonna say. When it comes to expectations, because we all expect things, mm-hmm. but sometimes they don't turn out how we want them to turn out. True, right? That's facts. But I say this: having having um, a mindset of knowing that everything will work out how the way you want it to. Not in the, not in the time aspect, but just knowing everything will work out. Yeah, you know. Shout out and rest in peace, Nip- Nipsey Hussle. He said True. the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not about the time aspect it's about knowing that everything will work out in the end. Sure. You want it. Like I said earlier, divine timing, everything is divine timing, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not about when you want something. It's about the, 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 the excuse me, the divine timing mm-hmm. to get it. Mm-hmm. You will get it in divine timing. You get it when it's for you. Like I say, what I always, like I tell you, I say, what's for you is for you. It can be for no one else. Right. No one else can block your blessing. No one can stop with the most high. God, you know, or whatever you believe in. Source. Yeah. yeah. Source. Source. Yeah. So, Source. Yeah. Um, so, so, so what is King Tony's expectations for 2024? Well, my expectations are simply like this. Um, my expectations are going to 2024 with a positive mindset, mm-hmm. um, knowing everything's going to work out. You know, um, like I said, um, prosperity. Yes. Peace, more happiness. Bless. bless more bless. blessings and blessings. Mm-hmm. Um you know, um, doing what I got to do and what I came here to do. True. You know, is to spread positivity to help others. You know, I think about others. I don't, I put others before me. Okay. You know, I put others before me and I like to help people and I like to heal people, you know. Um, but uh, for me, it's just pretty much um, prosperity and abundance, happiness, you know, blessings and um, knowing everything is going to work out. You know? Oh, yeah. I have. I have very high hopes and ambition, you know, moving forward. That's what's so, up. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I send my, my prayers and my blessings to you that you're going to have a, a awesome and prosperous 2024 this year up this year coming. And you're going to do great things, man. And I, I appreciate you being on this podcast. And I appreciate yeah. you sharing your story and your love for who you are as a man and stuff. Oh, most definitely, bro. I, I Appreciate you for having me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Lee? Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to hit this thing from two different ways. No. So, I have my expectations and I have the expectations that I have society is going to have going into 224. And I'm going to start with my expectations. Of course, I want to focus on fine tuning the character of Leon Marbley and Lee Hawk Fury. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most High showed me what it is to be a true leader in 2024. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that I can resonate my light amongst my friends and that we all come up. True. You know what I'm saying? I expect 2024 to open more relationships. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said <clears throat> last time, I'm going to make a start of you, you will make a start of me. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to have big things, you know what I'm saying? We have this platform right here. We have each other. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And I really hope that 2024, our messages and our hard work and our fruits of our labor will be seen and shown more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let the veil be lifted and let the light show through the darkness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? True, true. Yeah. 
So people can say, damn, where these guys come from? Damn, where these guys, you know what I'm saying? And that's how people all, when they see us, damn, I ain't know y'all boys out there like that. Because you haven't put the time in to really find it. Right. But in order to find good things in life, you got to dig. When people go grocery shopping, they get shit from the back. They don't get shit from the front. <laughs> I do for that real. all the time, bro. For real. Right the <laughs> for real. That is true. So, 2024, man, we going to be them niggas that's in the back putting in the work. And we hey, we refined and we going to be defined. But somebody, somehow, some hands going to reach back there and they going to bring us to the light. Mm-hmm. And it's going to change their world. I believe that. So 2024, society, I expect, I expect this shit to be more toxic. I expect nothing to change. I expect people to be more lost. And uh, I expect uh, things that's going on to be more on a negative incline. And that's not me trying to be funny or facetious or anything. That, that, it, shit, that shit went dark quick. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 what, it's what has been shown to us over the past three years. True. So if it's happening in three years, I'm expected the fourth year. Mm. And uh, from the look of it, nobody has shown any signs of changing. Like today is Christmas, and it just feels like a regular Monday. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So 2024, <laughs> as much as I would like to say I want to bring back the traditional feel of a holiday, bring back the traditional feel of making things feel like normal again, but we have to all be men and accept accept. Mm-hmm. That things are not the same, Mm-mm. and they are not going to be the same. Mm-mm. So and we got to like, we got to focus more on ourselves. Well, focus on the ourselves, yes, but let your light resonate with everything in your radius. Who's connected to you? Yes, mm. and let your radius grow wider and wider and wider. We 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 gonna be like Wi Fi. I'm standing here, but I can reach a hundred yards. You standing there, you can reach a hundred yards. You stand, and it's we're gonna cover football fields. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I believe that. So that's some that's some deep shit. Uh, yeah, that's some. And with us doing it like that, we may not can change the societal aspect, but some people in here they will change. So 2024, I want our light to counteract the dark forces against society. And wake more people up. Mm. That's what I'm expecting. To wake more people up. And, that's and, and you know what? If you sleep, keep sleeping. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to miss a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to miss a lot of opportunities. Mm-hmm. Oh, a lot. You're going to oh, miss passion. a lot of life. And then when you finally wake up, you're going to be on your deathbed. Yeah. Right? And that's why people say, oh, man, you blink, you're going to be 40. Oh, man, you blink, you're going to be 50. Because, no, nigga, it's not that you blinking and you growing old. It's because you living life chasing shit. Right. Oh, that's right. When you running, you're not worried about the time. You're just trying to get to where you got to be in that particular moment. Why you still yeah. on this earth. Right. Right. And who's holding the time? The man on the sideline. Boom. You ran the folks to boom. I have to, I have to get faster so I can beat this time. Right. And what am I saying? Society is making you get on this treadmill and run 100 miles per hour, burning up all your time, but you're not getting anywhere because you have no destination. Shit. You're just running in place for nothing. Damn. Mm. And then now you're on your deathbed talking about woulda, coulda, shoulda. And and see, and that leads to having regrets in life. That leads to regrets. You you 80, 90 on your bed. Mm -hmm. I got regret because I didn't do it. Yeah. I, did, I didn't do. I didn't follow my dreams because I listened to the other man or the other yeah. woman telling me yeah. that I couldn't do it. Oh, look, it wouldn't be nothing. But look, life, life, life is a, all about a gamble. Life is a gamble. I play them chips. Yeah, you everybody know? play them chips. You got to take risk in life. A lot, of, no. a lot of people not playing there, but a lot of people's not taking risks because they they too scared. They taking the risk and they got burned. Or they got they, they, all that money got taken away, and they're like, "I'm not doing that shit again. I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna stay working at Walmart and and play it safe." And right. a lot of people burn a lot of life playing it safe. Yeah, right. And that, yeah. and that's the thing. And, and and a lot of people, a lot of people have been told in life, "No, you gotta do it this way." And if you don't do it right, yeah, still do the right thing. Right. But still take risk. There's right. no risk, no reward. Right. 
And some know? and some of the people who tell him that stuff, they don't even know what the fuck they talking yeah, about. They they scared to take this they got themselves. But you but, but but hold on. And I like that you said that because, you know, a lot of people on social media, you know, I'm I'm against social media, even though I'm on it, I'm against it. Um a lot of these people have came from wealthy backgrounds. They have things in place. If things go wrong, they are secured. Right. So they want you to put out the effort, and they're going to absorb your energy. And when you fail, they're going to say, damn, I was going to go that way, but I'm going to go this way. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? True, true. So work hard, but, man, please keep your eyes open on where you're going. Right. Please keep your eyes open on the on the relationships that you build. Right. Study people. Study what these niggas' intentions are out here because – we don't want you to put your all and effort into something and somebody fuck you clean from under your feet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that could be the that. worst thing to happen. Worse. So, if you're willing to grow, grow. Grind in silence, man. Don't tell everybody your plan because not everybody's happy for you. They're going to shoot that shit down. Yeah. Right? Because this time and age we in, bro, people are envious of each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Luckily, we have enough going on. The way we ain't fully worried about what you know, <laughs> you know, we ain't fully worried about what each other going on. But it's people out there that really dedicate their life to see what we have going on and how can they just be jealous of us. Right. Like right. what the hell you wanna be jealous of me for nigga? I'm a blue collar worker just like everybody else. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Why do you wanna be jealous of me? Right. Yeah, I'm me for real. But they gonna spend that time and that energy to right. like, oh man, King Tony doing good. Let me burn all my energy. And hate towards him and try to stop his grind and put a comment or something or say something to him negative. So it'll suppress him to like, oh man, damn, he said that to me. But your mind, your mindset is so fucking strong, or our mindset is so fucking strong as men. Mm-hmm. If somebody comes like, oh man, you, man, you ain't gonna make it, that wasting your time, man. Stay where you at, man, keep it played safe. It's like, no, nah, man, like. I'm I'm doing this because I like doing this. This is not like a hobby to me. This is something I like to do, mm-hmm. and I feel like I'm I'm not looking at for to for rapid growth. But I'm, you know, if I do consist consistently, that some 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 big something big is going to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't know when it's going to happen, but if I stay on top of what I'm doing with this podcast or the YouTube or powerlifting or whatever, or you know, helping y'all grow. In, in in our in our group mm-hmm. and everything and you know helping y'all succeed as well and finding ways to damn how can I help Leon Hall grow or what, what I need to do how can I help uh, King Tony to grow what I need to do or how can I help Ivan or Marshall or whoever is in our in our in our circle to grow so we can all elevate all elevate together right so remember light exposes the weaknesses <laughs> is not the weakness mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it again. Light exposes the weaknesses. It is not the weakness. Right. Just like you turn on the lights in the kitchen. Hey, when you turn on the light yeah. and you feel like it's a cockroach on the wall in the dark, but you're not too sure, you turn on that light and there is a cockroach on that wall, you're going to be like, damn, now I got to kill this motherfucker. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So translate that to real life. I feel like this nigga here is really against me. <laughs> <laughs> he that cockroach on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but no, you really. speak, you speak real shit. Go you ahead, go feel ahead. Like, I feel like this nigga is really against me, right? And we all feel that like right. that sometimes, yeah, right. And then the light, it could be her coming around, coming to my life. That's the light. I was in a dark spot, so that's the light. Mm. He got my shit right, right, right. Now I can see that cockroach on the wall because his light source lit up my source. Right in my life, now I can see this shit and remove this past from my life. But you know what? And you're speaking on that, what you said, it's good because it's like this. When people come in your life, it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. It's a lesson or a blessing. Right. Sometimes we don't let people stick around long enough to see that blessing. Mm-hmm. Just, just like for a dating. Let's say you talk to a chick, whatever, you know. Okay, let's say. Um, and then I don't know, you know, a lot of a lot of majority of women get the ick. Like you say something, I mean that's everybody, of yeah. course, but you know, they get the ick. Yeah. But it's like this. Baby, 
you ain't give me enough time for me to bless you. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. Baby, you didn't give me enough time to bless you. It's that, it's that, micro, it's that microwave uh, cycle. Like, they, they want that shit right now. Man, that society wants the microwave cycle. They, they, want you, they, want, they, they want you to bless that game on day one. But, see, that's the problem. Everybody want everything today. Yeah, they everybody, don't have patience. Every, everybody want everything right now. You got to have patience in life. A long life is better than a fast life. Mm, say that again, my brother. Say that a again. A long life is better than a fast life. Uh, I'm say it one more time. Yes, you can say that again. All right. A long life is better than a fast life. Listen, this, because, I, hope, I hope y'all listen. Listen, this, because, this is some shit. Listen, I'd rather go five miles per hour yeah. than go 100. Let me tell you why. Because I can deviate in life. So I'm going five miles. I see an object, boom. I could deviate. Mm. Now, if I'm going 100, I'm hitting it head on. I don't have no time to think break of your nothing. Nothing. Damn. But that's how you got to go in life is patience. Life will teach you patience. When you're frustrated in life, things not going right. Life is teaching you patience. Mm. Yeah. Life is teaching you patience. <sighs> and a lot of us don't have patience. We don't. No. I talked to a lot of elderly and older people. I ask them about life advice. Be patient. Do this, do that. Be patient, though. Majority of them say be patient. Mm-hmm. That's how they got to. That's how they got to where they at. They're being patient, going through life. Don't get me wrong. Just like Lee said earlier about you know people think they're going somewhere they're not. It's like you in the ocean, right? And you are trying to swim against the wave, thinking you going somewhere, but you're not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You're not. Damn. Shit. What other fire you got? <laughs> <laughs> that boy, that boy spins yeah, fire, man. Like, you, hey, t- fast, hey man. Tony, you let you letting that shit yeah. loose, boy. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. you too, Lee. You, y'all, y'all yeah, boys, yeah. letting that shit loose. Go ahead, look up. You want to switch some fire? What's uh, up, boy? All right, man. All Have right, you got some uh, fire over there? All right. First off, uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. As well as you, Tony. Too, I appreciate young. it. Now, uh, one thing that I I want to do for 2024, right? Be more of a risk taker. Mm. That's that's my first go to, right? Okay. I want to be that guy you call, okay. right? Now, what I mean by that is, I want all our goals to become reality, but it's like you said, right? It, it, it's the the law of everything: high risk, high reward, right? Right. Low risk, low reward, right? Yep. Life is a risk, right? And you're gambling. You, you you're gonna see if it pays out or if it doesn't, but it's patience within that, right? Yeah. Now, another thing I want to focus on is having boundaries, right, within certain people mm-hmm. and growing um, a network of people that have the same mindset because you can only achieve getting into the top of the mountain if you have help, you know, climbing it, right? right. You're not going to do it by yourself, right? Now, uh, you had mentioned earlier if I have a superhero name, I have an alter ego name, right? Is and my, my alter ego name is Ine, Inexorabilis, which is Latin for inexorable. So it's not gummy squish? No, it's not gummy squish. <laughs> that man is lying to you. <laughs> gummy squish. So, so uh, what that means is impossible to stop or prevent. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's and, deep. And I feel like everything that you have is an alter persona of your name. Mm. It's for a reason, right? Okay. Can you say that one more time? Yeah. It's inexorable, which means impossible to stop or prevent. Impossible to stop or prevent. Yeah. Damn. And that's yeah. what I want to be. Because you're right. You tell people your problems or your your solutions or your goals. Nah, I don't see you doing it. No, nah, you don't have the resource. No, you can't do it. Oh, they're going to try to stop you. They're going to try to stop you or they're going to shit talk you. They're going to bring you down. Leon has a point. Grind in silence, right? Yeah. But th- those are the main things for 2024 because here, you know, we have a support system, right? Um. You know, you have some goals in mind, or Leon has some goals in mind, or T. We don't hesitate. We say, "Okay, how can we help you?" Right? Right. We don't. We don't say, "Oh, you know what? I don't see you doing that." Mm-hmm. Oh, this is stupid, right? right? Like right now, podcast. I didn't even know you you, you were going to do a podcast. You know, <laughs> today, right? Tonight, and I got invited, and I said, "Why not?" Why not? Right? And we're here talking, right? We're here. Because it's a support system. True. true. Because true. It, if you're grinding. I got to grind with you, right. right? Because you're the light. Like like Leon said, but all of you are the light, right? Yeah. Y'all the light too, man, because yeah. y'all sharing y'all, y'all story. Yeah. And, and and y'all sharing y'all story so other men on the, who listen to this podcast can, like, hear y'all story and right. hear y- and, and feel y'all light from right. through the podcast. I'm like, damn, these dudes are, like, awesome. 
Right. I, I need to start doing whatever they telling me what I need to do. Yeah. So it's kind of like an inspiration, a motivation to yeah. like, I'm not here by myself. Right. I, I got a support group, even if it's just episodes from a podcast. Right. We're, we're sharing our story to help other men. Correct. And, and remember what I told you earlier when, when <laughs> I remember what he, he told me, mm-hmm. I used to fight. Right. I used to fight and dispute with my friend. Right. Leon, right. But then I realized because he helped me see the light that there's certain people I had to cut off that were not good for me. Right. 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 But it's because uh, I realized it. Right. And, and and he that's what I'm saying. All of you are the light. And, and I know we're going to make a change tonight. Someone's going to listen to this and they're going to see perspective of you. Right. True. But. That, that is the main thing for 2024. I mean, you know, hopefully <laughs> hopefully we get to be on a TED Talk or something big, right? <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah. I know that we're we're going to, you know, tonight's going to change us. It's going to change everybody, you know, the, the listeners, our, ourselves. Because I know that when we step out of here, we're going to be completely new people, mm. with new goals, new mindsets, right? Yeah. Or reinforcing those mindsets, right? Sure. And I know that we're going to revisit this at some point, and we're going to talk about what we've done. Because I know there's going to be achievements. Oh, yeah. Maybe not how we want them to be. Hey, 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 we're going to stop it right here. Appreciate you for listening to part two of the episode. (laughs) It's this crazy, good conversation, good energy. But we're going to move to part three. If you want to listen to part three, go ahead and continue. If you want to take a break, take a break. But part three is going to be here regardless. But until then, peace, love, and positivity. And I'll see you soon. One love.